hey guys this is candy welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be embarking on a somewhat of a different style i'm going to be doing some feedings as you saw in the title and i did mention for beginners because i consider myself to be a beginner where this style is concerned reason being i don't consider myself an expert i've actually always shied away from doing this style like if it was a few months ago and somebody reached out to me and asked me if I did feedings chances are I would say no just because I wasn't very confident about it but I'm running with the viral slogan for 2024 which is doing more in 2024 and so because of that I definitely will be taking on more and more challenges because it's all about growth and development for this year so as you can see her hair is super long which makes it harder it's super silky, which if you're a braider, you know that this hair texture is a little bit harder to braid. And so, yeah, it's challenging all around, but we are going to get it done. So if you are a beginner and you want to see um, how I do feedings, just continue to watch and enjoy. <laughs> all right. So I started off the braid with her own hair and then I'm adding tiny pieces Traditionally, when you're doing feedings, you would add progressively larger pieces of hair as you go along the braid. Like you start with a very small piece and then you would use bigger and bigger until you get to the end. But because her hair is already very long and full, then she has the necessary volume to get her hair braided without even adding hair. So I'm literally just adding small pieces all the way throughout the style. Now you, I'm showing you in slow motion how I add the hair. The hair is on my index and thumb and the hair that is in my left hand, I'm using those two fingers, the thumb and the index finger to grab a hold of the hair, allowing one side of the hair to remain in that left hand while the other side of the hair remains in my right hand. And I just continue the braiding process as I go along. Yeah. So the braiding process, guys, for her hair will involve just using small pieces of hair throughout the entire braid. All right. And the hair that I used is Outre. As I showed you before, it's Outre Expressions in the length 48 inches. I tried to use a hair that was, you know, similar in length to her hair. She did not want the hair to be longer than her hair, really. And so... I was careful to make sure that I was not adding too many pieces towards the end part of the braid because then that would lengthen the braid, you know, further beyond the length of her hair, which she didn't want. As a FYI, though, her hair was being braided for the very first time ever in life. Yes. So she was a braid virgin. Mm hmm. And she was doing this style for convenience because she is actually a marathon runner and she wanted her hair to be in a style that would make, you know, it more comfortable for her to run without her hair getting in the way for her marathon. So that's what we were doing today. So once I am done with the feeding process, the, the, the next step is to just simply braid the hair out all the way to the end. And by adding the braiding hair, her hair will stay in place once you braid it because the texture of the braiding hair is, is, is a little bit coarser than hers. So it will definitely um, cause her hair to not unravel. She actually wanted me to braid her hair without adding braiding hair, but then that would not stay in place because of the soft texture of her hair. All right, so now we are on the last braid, yes and i think how how long did this style take me to do i don't even remember but so now we're on the last braid and as i said before i just you know part off a small section in the front and start to braid that and yeah just continue to merge that into her hair as we continue along with the braid And I'm adding my first piece of braiding hair, a small piece, grabbing that in between my fingers and just continuing to braid.
adding another piece. So you're just using the fingers on the left hand to grab hold of the hair and the other part of the hair remains in the right hand and you just continue to braid seamlessly. And it's not as hard as I think. There is a lot more for me to learn by way of how to make the hair very neat and tight or even to explore things like the stitch braid. Oh my God, I love seeing the stitch braid. But, you know, I've not yet tried that one. So that is another goal of mine to learn how to do the stitch braids. Yes. So this is as basic and as simple as it gets as far as feeding braids. You know, there's nothing fancy about the parting. You know, I'm just braiding them all the way back. She actually wanted four of these braids. But she, she you know, she said, you know, I had autonomous liberty you know to decide how I want to do it or if I wanted to do more or you know whatever I thought was best so I I thought it was best to you know make them a little bit smaller than just doing four because I felt like it would hold better for the purpose of the hairstyle all right so as I mentioned before once I'm done adding pieces of hair then I just continue to braid all the way down until I get to the end of the braid and um pretty much that is it i definitely am excited now <laughs> the fact that i have taken out a challenge i'm excited to to teach myself and to perfect the style so that eventually i can you know be proud to say yes i do offer this service yeah all right All right, so now that we are done, I'm just going ahead and adding a little bit more of my Shine and Jam, which is what I use, the Magic Fingers, to smooth the hair down. And um, yeah, just to make the style a little bit neater. Yes, I'm tucking in any little um, pieces that needed to be tucked in and smoothing down areas that needed to be smoothed down. And yeah, once that is done, the next step is to just mousse it. Yes, very important step with this style. It helps to give the hair a nice shine and just gives it a more polished and a neater look. Yeah. So I add my mousse to the hair and then I'm going in with my wrap strip just to tie it down and to make it even sleeker. Right. So I tie that down for about um, maybe 10 minutes or so or even a little bit less as long as possible while I go ahead and uh, prep the hair for the hot water process no i did not make the hair the water super hot usually i would make the, the water piping hot but because her hair is so long and i did not want you know to dip her natural hair in scorching hot water then the hair was just moderately you know warm and yeah just like that i am done just smoothing the hair down that portion of the hair with a warm towel and then i'm gonna just add that warm towel onto the top of her hair too it was soothing but in addition to that it also helps you know just to soften the braids on the top part of her head also all right and yes we are pretty much on the finishing guys you guys are the real mvps for sticking and staying with me and for watching today's video yes comment and let me know how much would you rate me out of a 10 oh my god i'm i'm pretty much i know i'm going to be sorry i asked that question but how much would you rate me out of 10 given that i'm not a professional at this yeah so this is it she was super excited about the, the style yes and um i'm just happy that i was able to attempt it yeah, so guys, stay with me and be sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And we will talk on my next video. Bye.